I was gonna mow the lawn today for the first time of the year back here in the back. If you could see, I spent the morning cleaning up all this crap and that was a lot of freaking stuff. I filled up the dump trailer completely full and hauled it away. So that was the pile of the, the wood. Uh, it looks pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. And then here's where the table was right here. That's got kind of riddled and damaged pretty bad with the voles. <clears throat> And I wanted to mow the lawn. I still have some cleanup to do back here, quite a bit actually. I was gonna work on this uh, trailer here, but it's raining, it's raining. So I'm not gonna be mowing the lawn. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I need to fix my lawn mower. So I need to fix the strip gear on the rotary mower. And I was meaning to do this last year, but I didn't use my rotary mower a lot last year which is surprising because I normally use it a lot, but I just didn't end up using it very much. So maybe I'll change the oil and fix the strip here. Still got a lot of cleanup to do. Lots of crap still in this area. Lots of crap in the back, but I made a really good progress on the cleanup today. I'm just looking on the underside of this engine to see if there is a sump or a nut that I can use to drain the oil, which I don't see one. So I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, but I need to drain the oil out of here. I didn't use this mower very much last year, but that is black. So look at that, that's not too bad. Feels like I need, to, need more clearance. This box right here is a new reel for my um, triplex the big uh, machine so I think I'm just gonna put the mower up on here and try to get the oil out that way I think this will work this up here like that this should work I 
think. Well, so that's working pretty good. Got the mower propped up on a box there and it's draining pretty well. It's not the most ideal thing, but I think I will be able to get pretty much almost all of it out of there. Looks to me like it needs to be turned just a little bit more like that. So that's good enough. These oil spills here. That's some black oil, dirty oil. I didn't think it was gonna be that dirty because I didn't use this mower that much last year. And I don't know if I, if I changed the oil on this mower last year or not. I don't, I don't know. I don't change the oil on these mowers every single year. I just don't see the need to personally, but probably should, but I, I just don't. All right, so let's fix the wheels on this thing. 12 millimeter socket here. Get that off there. So this is grinding. So this is the, the wheel gear or whatever. This sprocket right here, this gear is all stripped out. Let's get the snap ring off and then push, be able to pull this gear off. Here's the replacement gear. Oh, that's metal. It didn't feel like it was metal. So if you could see this replacement gear, see the difference of that? Just worn out. Totally worn out. So that needs to go like that. That. There. Put the washer on. Okay, so that's on. And then just be able to put this back on like this okay so I've got those replaced now I just need to put new oil in I have no idea how much oil this thing needs so I've got the online user's manual here this is a PDF version let's see here servicing your mower Oil change. Okay, refill amount is 12 ounces to 13.5 ounces. 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna do 13 ounces. Sweet. It's got about 13 ounces in there. I'm just gonna put the rest of this oil in here. And there's no more in there. So that's good. Well, I like to use these empty jugs. I put the old oil inside these jugs and then I so you gotta be really careful when you're filling up these mowers with oil that you don't pour it in too fast. You'll create a suction or a vacuum. You'll fill up the whole tube, the fill tube, and it'll spill out everywhere. So you just gotta be careful when you're filling these. I've done it several, several times. Here we go. I'm just gonna let that drain out of there. These measuring um, cylinders or these pitchers or whatever, these things are super useful. Bought this guy on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, and I use these things so much. I've got 32 ouncer, a 64 ouncer, and a 128 ouncer. Yes, honey? It's her birthday today. She's, uh. Don't, uh, 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 uh. Don't what? Don't, don't what? Don't tell him how old? Nope. Why not? You scared of him or something? You act your age. Yeah. Are you acting your age? <laughs> yep, I'm 40. <laughs> it's her birthday today, so that's uh, been an awesome day. We got a lot of cleanup hashtag done. Stay home. <laughs> yeah, hashtag stay home, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't want to stay home anymore. So I want to check the oil, see if it's uh, at an, a good acceptable level. Should be good. I mean, I followed the manual's instructions on exactly how much to put in there. So I would assume that it's good. Stick it in there like that. Pull it out. And it's right in the center of the hash. So that's good. I want to start the season off with fresh blades. These are some blades that I bought last year. 
Uh, fairly new, but they are dull. All right, so we're gonna sharpen these blades up. I've got the wrong, wrong wheel on this grinder. This is the flap disc, which probably would work okay. More so for sanding. So take the flap disc off and put on the grinding wheel. It's pretty cold out here. It's raining, so that's that's good. At least it's not snowing. I just like to go like this. As I was sharpening this, I just was reminded of uh, Chris from Handy Dad TV. Shout out to him. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. He does some pretty cool stuff. Just want to get it nice and sharp. Get it the edge nice and sharp. Should. Yeah, it cuts okay. So if you're wanting to go extra low with this mower, there's an easy way to do that with this mower. You just grab some, get some washers. You put them in between here and here. So it lower, essentially lowers the blade down like this. And you can go ultra low. If you're like, if you've got Bermuda or if you've got, if you're just trying to scalp your lawn or something like that. And there are, there are advantages to scalping your lawn, even if you've got a cool season lawn. I don't care what anybody says, I think there's advantages to it. I spent a good portion of the day cleaning up this crap. And look at the damage it caused me. Not that worried about it, but I did get some major damage here. <clears throat> I'm not sure what was there. Vol damage here, where the table was. This is the, the worst offender right here. It's where all that firewood was. Made pretty good progress on the shed. Not too much, but decent progress. I have the shed wrapped in foam all the way around. And you can see right here, I've got the, uh, those are my, uh, that's my backing or my backer boards or what do you call it, rain screen. So that is what's gonna hold up the siding. Just need to put the siding on next i did acquire some chicken manure from uh from a source here locally from a friend that's here try to mix it in a little bit to my compost pile that's what i got going on this is my compost pile i moved it from over there to here so i could stir it up cleaned up a bunch of crap over there still got quite a bit of crap to clean up unfortunately my plan was to get this uh backyard mowed the lawn is ready to be mowed it's uh green i have not mowed it at all this year but it's green and ready to go and i did want to do a cleanup mow oh crap that looks like it's that sounds to me like it's gonna blow off tyvek over there sounds to me like it's gonna blow off i did want to do the cleanup mow here the lawn is ready to be mowed back here. Not so much in the front, uh, it's still really short. But it's pretty green. I did want to put down some, some more, another application of humic. I may do that tomorrow. Maybe, 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 I don't know. But it's pretty nasty looking. The damages are pretty severe, but I'm not really all that worried about it. Give it about two weeks to a month and this will pretty much disappear and it will look good. I have a lot of vol damage over there. A lot more than I thought. I got my mower all fixed up and backyard cleaned up pretty good. Got my garden good to go. I need to come out here with the blower. Maybe I'll do that actually. Come out here with the blower and kind of do some blow job on the, the back lawn here. A little bit of cleanup blow. Man, so that cleanup mow really needs to happen soon. I wish it wasn't all wet. So this looks a million times better just with blowing off all the debris and gunk. So if I can get the cleanup mow done and get all of this crap out of here, see all the leaves and the twigs and sticks and firewood chips and all that. So that needs to really go. If I can get the cleanup mow done this week, that'll be awesome. If you can see the, the grass is long, it is two or three inches in places, so it's ready and it's time to mow. So 
So I'm having one of those I can't wait moments. So I'm just gonna I wanna I wanna do one or two passes with this mower. I think she's all the way down. Yeah, it looks like it's all the way down. I don't know if it's gonna cut off anything or not. Probably not, but I just wanna yeah, I just wanna try it out, you know. This probably isn't gonna be good. The lawn's all wet. It's gonna get, be all sticky and gum up the bag and all that. So that's why I don't really want to mow it while it's wet. Because it's just gonna gum up everything. But I'm having one of those I can't wait type moments. So let's see what happens. 